Welcome to week five of our Organic Disciples Devotions. We're focusing on humble service. Today, our question is, how can I serve consistently and humbly like Jesus did, even when it is hard to do? Listen to these words from John chapter 13. Jesus was at the table with his disciples. It was the last supper and Jesus is about to go to the cross. I'll begin reading at verse two. The evening meal was in progress and the devil had already prompted Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, to betray Jesus. Jesus knew that the father had put all things under his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God. So he got up from the meal, took off his outer clothing and wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet drying them with the towel that was wrapped around him. This is God Almighty, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, kneeling down at the feet of broken and sinful people and washing their feet. This is humble service. I think next to Jesus going to the cross as he walked on this earth, one of the most profound moments in the ministry of Jesus, showing us how to live our lives. As disciples, we're to become like our Lord, he was a humble servant. This is his call for you and for me. And so you say, you say how, how do you do that? How do we humbly serve in, with all the challenges of our world? And I think the answer is we look to Jesus. We look at this passage and we discover that Jesus served out of who he was. He knew who he was that allowed him to serve. He knew where he came from. He came from the glory of heaven. He knew where he was going. And that knowledge strengthened him to serve. It should strengthen you and me. In faith with faith in Jesus, we know who we are. We know where we're going. We know that heaven is our home. And then we watch Jesus and we watch how he served. He didn't just serve in the easy ways. He took one of the, the toughest things to do in those days, the humility of washing dirty feet, of taking them in your hands. You can't wash feet standing up. You have to kneel down. You have to come close. And then think about who he served. He served a denier, the one who would say, I swear I don't know the man Jesus. He served and washed Peter's feet. He served a doubter, Thomas, who would say, I won't believe it unless I can touch the nail prints in his hands and his side. He washed the feet of a betrayer, Judas. Read the passage, you realize that Judas didn't leave till after this happened. Jesus didn't come to Judas and say, not you, I know what you're up to. The Lord of glory knelt down and washed the feet of Judas. And if you had been there, if I had been there, he would have washed our feet too. And when it was all finished, Jesus gets up, he goes back to the table and he looks at his followers and he says, you call me teacher and Lord and you're right, that is who I am. And then our Lord says this, if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet because I've given you an example as you should do as I have done for you. That's Jesus. That's the humble servant. That's the model for our lives. So let's commit ourselves to humble service. As we watch Jesus, we learn from him, we become humble servants, and the world watches and it opens the door for the good news of Jesus. Join us in prayer. Mm -hmm. Dear Jesus, thank you for being a foot-washing servant, for giving your life fully to us. And may we learn to radically and humbly serve like you have served us. And then God, may people See your light shining so brightly through our service to them that they will seek you and find you. We thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen.